Hi, this is David with Executive Restoration, executiverestoration.com. And what we're looking at here right now, we're looking at the hot water hose and the cold water hose to your washing machine, to a washing machine. So I recommend throwing those rubber hoses away because they bust quite often and they can create a water damage. Now can you imagine this, a water damage in the upstairs part of the house coming downstairs? Oh my goodness, that could create such havoc. So change these hoses out to stainless steel braided hoses. Okay, all right, we're going to go to the next photo here. Um, this is a pager. This was my first pager, my first form of communication uh, back in 1988. So when people would page me, I would call them. Okay, this was many, many years ago, back in the 80s, what, 87, 88? And so it's amazing how how advanced our technology has become. The next photo here you will see stainless steel braided hoses for the washing machine. Remember the black ones I told you about? Well, throw those away and get you some stainless steel braided hoses. They are they're in the picture right there. The next photo is is after a mold remediation job. See how clean things are? Floors are clean. The walls are clean. The air was clean. Makes all the difference in the world for a cleanup. This is a... This determines the humidity in the air. This also determines the moisture in the air, the humidity... Uh, it also is a moisture meter for uh, penetrating and non-penetrating. And this also tells me the temperature, what the temperature is. It's a very important tool. The next, the next photo is, is after a mold remediation job. As you see here, things are very clean. Even the carpet. The next photo is a historic home in Harrisburg that we worked on. Harrisburg, North Carolina. Here's another job. Um, after the job was done, a nice cleanup. You see that? See how clean things are? Here's another photo of somebody uh, checking out to see if their exhaust fan would work because it sounded like it worked. The motor was running, but it wasn't exhausting. So one little tidbit of advice, a little tip for the day is put a piece of toilet paper on the exhaust fan, fan and make sure that it sticks. If it's, sti if it's sticking, that means it's exhausting. If it's not sticking, it means it's not exhausting. And you t it's probably disconnected up in the attic somewhere. Or in the house, it's probably you get, probably got a disconnection, or uh, something's wrong. You've got a blockage somewhere. Okay. The next photo is um, a crawl space where the toilet overflowed down into the uh, crawl space. And that was an inspection that I did. Next photo is a historic home that had roof damage. Okay. And here is a, is a photo of a leaky condensation line in the, at, in, the, in the crawl space. Excuse me. So when you have leaky condensation lines and you have moisture in the crawl space and it leaks onto the vapor barrier, make sure... That the vapor barrier doesn't have pools of water. Okay, make sure they're dried out, and make sure you take care of the leak, because if you don't, it can create mold issues. Um, here is a job. Um, 
beautiful, beautiful job that um, this was an inspection that was done. Huge, huge house. This is a sealant. This was the had water uh, damage, water intrusions through the wall outside, so we sealed the wall, okay, with a special sealant, petroleum based sealant, and it took care of the problem. Here is a brand new house, so, folks, even brand new homes have water damage issues. And they have mold issues, okay? So make sure that when you buy a brand new house or a used house, that you get a home inspection, you get a mold inspection, and you get a termite inspection. And um, those, three, those three are very important. And a radon um, sampling and testing is also another good idea. So never buy a home without a mold inspection, without a home inspection and without a termite inspection and in some areas a radon sampling and testing is very important okay our next photo is here this was a crawl space that had issues uh, and remember in the crawl space there are leaks in the crawl space so when you have leaks and gaps in the crawl space they can affect the rest of the house, okay? So make sure those leaks and gaps are filled up. Here's another job where the vent, the ducting, excuse me, was detached from the vent in the master bedroom. Well, all we needed to do was just attach it back up. As you see, they have an encapsulation there. It looks like a swimming pool liner. It was a beautiful and well done job. Here's another job. Very, very old home with old wood. This was a job where a company took out the uh, cut out a piece of uh, of ceiling and behind there there was mold so I was doing an inspection on this job now this here is a toilet make sure you clean the back of the toilet at least once a year I use white distilled vinegar and baking soda and a um, little bit of lemon juice a little bit of Dawn dishwashing detergent and white distilled vinegar and it will foam up okay this cleans the back of the toilet because the toilets the back uh, holding tank gets really dirty sometimes okay hope you guys can see this our next photo next photo is a crawl space that had an encapsulation it was very very well done so this is an encapsulation and it's wall to wall up the pillars so the company who did this job did an excellent job the next photo is some organic growth it's mold on a on a porch and it just needed to be cleaned up and washed and um, the customer was going to repaint it again but the customer couldn't repaint it without preparation and cleaning this was a home that was very nasty that had a roof leak and they had mold just all over the top of the home here's a job that's been done here the sealant's been put on the walls so the water would not seep through to the basement see behind this white wall there's dirt all the way up to the top so we had to seal that uh, the beams as well so another picture here there was um, mold in this basement so it had to all be cleaned the air had to be scrubbed we had to uh, dry it all out and clean it 
here is a picture of a job uh, from a cleaning. Look how pretty it is. Here's a job that was had had mold in under the sink. This is me. This is Dave Snell. Um, I was at a commercial facility, and uh, hope you guys can see this. Here is um, some steps. There was water damage that was seeping into the uh, basement area. Mm -hmm. This is a home that had sewage damage. And they had to move everything to an, to an additional room uh, because it had to be cleaned up. This was a sewage damage, very disgusting, very nasty job. Uh, but as you see here, things are very well cleaned up. And uh, progress, right? Here's a gas cap that had growth on it in a previous video that I did this gas cap was so disgusting but after the cleaning of it it got bleach white it was beautiful beautiful there's the moisture meter moisture detector penetrating non penetrating thermostat also humidity humidity detection determines how humid the air is here is, here is a job that the gas line was on the ground. So we put the gas line on concrete uh, blocks to keep it up off the ground because the ground has acidity in there and it will eat up the copper tubing. Hi, this is David Snell with Executive Restoration and hope you got something out of this PowerPoint presentation. This is David Snell with ExecutiveRestoration.com. Until the next video. Thanks. Bye.